That's why I propose uh, raising contribu or eliminating contribution uh, limits along with setting uh, the proper disclosure. And you can negotiate that about what that amount should be. What should it be? What should it be? That would be take a, a, a very difficult econometric analysis to perform. I'm a simple constitutional lawyer, but I, it oh, would be on. in the in the order of so there half a million or, or something be. like that. It's not ten thousand. It's not twenty five hundred. Do you know how much a say general treasurer's race in the state of Rhode Island costs to run? I do not. So, but you're willing to say that five hundred thousand dollars? It, it would be. Enough? It would depend on the race. I was talking about a. Uh, I mean, you, you could, you could probably no, no, not a, that, not a presidential for that amount. I, I don't know. Um, I, like I said, I can pick numbers off my head and think a, on the fly right now. But a congressional race, most congressional races are come in for well less than a million dollars. You're saying that you shouldn't have to disclose a four hundred ninety-nine thousand dollar contribution to a member of Congress. I'm saying you set the amount for maybe it differs on the state, maybe it differs on the race. I, I, I haven't come here with a set of uh, with a roster with a schedule of, of what that would be. Well, would you have to be tailored. With, you've come here with a criticism of the Disclose Act that it sets the number in the wrong place. How do Too you low. know that it sets it in the wrong place if you don't know where that place is? Let me just tell you that when I went into the Disclose Act vote, uh, as I came out of the basement lobby. I passed a young man, a Marine from Pennsylvania, who was sitting in the lobby in a wheelchair with a number of escorts around him to greet the senators who were going by. We had asked that young man to go to Afghanistan, and we'd sent him down a road that had an improvised explosive device under it that blew both of his legs off. If we can ask that young man to do that, we can darn well ask the Koch brothers to put up with some impolite blogging. I agree. The Koch brothers, yes. Which brings me to my announcement, which is that uh, up to this evening, the Progressive Change Campaign Committee has had 34,269 Americans sign its petition supporting the Disclose Act.